and welcome to our River Center Junior Angler Fishing Tournament for 2020. Today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what you need to know to succeed in our tournament. So the first thing we're going to go over is our fish photos, rules, when to submit things, and how to submit them. So on Saturday, June 27th, our tournament will officially begin and our tournament will go all the way until August 1st and that is your last day to submit photos. You have until midnight to submit anything. And then on August 7th, we'll actually announce our winners and notify you guys virtually and prizes will be mailed or available for pickup. So let's go over the rules. Let's keep it fair and fun. Our tournament is open to anglers between 5 and 17. Anglers will receive points for the number of fish and species caught. Release competition prizes will be awarded to anglers based on their age categories. We have 5 through 7, 8 through 10, 11 through 13, 14 to 17. The more fish you catch, the more species you catch, the better your chances are to win. Registered anglers are scored by submitting photos and information about their catches. Photos must include the angler with their catch and a 2020 River Center lanyard or bracelet to be counted towards their total score. We encourage you guys also to keep a backup fish log just to make sure if anything bad happens, any technical issues, you have a backup of all your catches. Also, points are awarded per the diversity and quantity of catches. So anglers will receive one point for the, each fish they submit and two points for each species captured during the tournament. So an example we have here, an angler submitting photographs of two mangrove snapper and one checkered puffer would be scored as follows. They would get one point for every fish caught, so they submitted three fish, they get three points. But they have two different species, so they're getting two points per species, so that's an additional four points. So their total would be seven points. Now you only get this bonus double points when you first submit a new species. All participants must abide by state of Florida fishing laws and regulations. So children under 16 are exempt from getting a fishing license, but any of my grown-ups out there, we highly recommend that if you're going to be fishing, you need to get a fishing license, which you can get at myfwc.com. Also, we recommend you guys downloading the Fish Rules app. It's very helpful with fish ID and also will give you regulation advice. All fish must be caught on hook and lines only. No net fishing. No more than two hooks per line may be used. So if you guys like using sabiki rigs, you can only have max of two hooks on there. Also, bait fish must be a minimum of three inches to qualify for points. Anything smaller than that will not be considered. And there's some examples below. We also have a limit to how many points you can get um, per species. So you will max out on your points with 25. Okay, so let's say you catch 26 puffer fish, only 25 of those will be counted for points. Also, our tournament boundary boundaries are freshwater and saltwater in Martin County and Palm Beach County. So again, we're going to go over the rules. We have, we need your lanyards, bracelets, and faces in each submission. Um, only in Palm Beach and Martin counties are you allowed to fish and you're only allowed two hooks. Two. No more. <laughs> now remember, bait fish have to be at least three inches, and you guys can do your best judging that length, but please help us, okay? Um, also, one point per fish, per species, up to 25. And then you get those two extra bonus points for each new species that you catch, which is really helpful in the end. So now we're going to kind of talk about how to photograph your fish fur catches, okay? So if you look over on the left part of your screen, you can see the fish, you can see the angler's face. It's a beautiful photo, okay? Now if you look on the right side, we can't really tell what kind of fish that is. Yes, sometimes we're very good at fish ID, but other times if there's a fish species that we just don't know, it's very helpful if we can see the rest of their body. <laughs> Okay, if you look on the left side of your screen, we have Avery here. She has her River Center lanyard and her fish, and we can see her face. It's a perfect photo. But on the right side, 
He has two fish. Yes, he does have his bracelet and his face in the photo, which is great, but we only want one fish per photo. Okay, it makes it a lot easier for us to judge. Now, if you look at this photo, he's got the perfect shot. We can see his face. We can see his fish. It's beautiful, but if you look a little bit closer, he doesn't have a lanyard or a bracelet on, so it would be disqualified. And then also please avoid selfies and again, make sure that your bait fish meet our three inch requirement. So I know I already mentioned the tournament dates before, but I'm gonna mention them again. Okay, cause we wanna make sure that everybody gets their submissions in on time. So it'll begin June 27th and end August 1st at midnight. Late submissions will be disqualified. So make sure you get them in. All right, so how to actually submit your photos. Stick with us, we'll explain. So we're actually using um, a new app this year, if you've participated before. We're using real-time apps, okay? Um, and the app you can download on your phone is called Fish On, and it looks just like this little picture shown. Um, if you haven't already registered for the tournament, make sure you create an account and you search Junior Angler Fishing Tournament 2020, and it'll pop up and you can register. You can also register multiple children or anglers under the same account, which makes it really easy if you have a couple kids wanting to do it. And when submitting a catch, you can choose that angler for the submission. Okay, now how do you submit? We do have a video um, from our friends at Real Time on how to actually submit a fish. So you'll see our junior angler fishing tournament, okay, and they are divided in our divisions. Count sign in, so you're going to sign in to your account. All right, so what you're going to do when you want to submit um, a fish, it's actually called a score, but that's the fish that you're going to submit each time. Okay, so you can put in the date, and if you need to backdate things, that's totally fine, but nothing before ju um, June 27th will be accepted. You can put in a time if you want to. The time's not as important. So then you'll see all of our different fish that we have in our tournament. Every fish is accepted. If you don't know, the first option under select the fish is unknown. So you can just click that if you really don't know what, what your fish is. Okay, and you can submit your angler. You're gonna attach a photo. Photos must be attached for submissions because we gotta know that you guys did it. <laughs> so then once you're done, you can submit and upload your photo. It'll ask if you're sure, confirm, and wait for it to load. All right, and then it'll say it was submitted successfully. And you'll be able to manage your score so you can see every time you submit a fish with your photo. So thank you guys for participating. If you have any questions at all, please give us a call um, at the center. You can shoot us an email, and I'll include it in any correspondence. Thanks, guys, and we're looking forward to it.